Hello my friend. Today I'm going to show you how to stop binge eating for good. If you're the type of person who can't stop eating, even when you're feeling full, you are a binge eater. And this poor habit can keep you from losing weight and even ruin your overall health. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can overcome this habit and build a healthy relationship with food. Now, many of us binge because of different reasons. It could be because of emotional issues, physical issues, or environmental factors. I'm going to address all these factors in this short video and show you how to kill these bad habits. So the first thing that you need to do is trigger the release of dopamine in a healthy way. This is tip number one. Have you ever wondered why people mostly reach for sweets or fatty foods when they are feeling sad and depressed? And why people mostly binge eat on such type of foods? It mainly has to do with a hormone called dopamine. Dopamine is a feel-good hormone. So when you eat sugary foods or fatty foods, it triggers the release of dopamine. And this hormone makes you feel good. So when you feel good, you figure out, I just need to eat more and feel good more. But that doesn't always happen because after binge eating, most people normally feel guilty. And this guilt most times makes them start eating again and it becomes a vicious cycle. So by finding new ways of trigger, triggering dopamine that does not involve food, it will help you combat the issue of emotional eating, which is one of the main causes of binge eating. So and uh, what are some of the ways that you can trigger dopamine in a healthy way? You can release dopamine in a healthy way, for one, through exercise. Do any type of exercise you enjoy, as long as it's fun. It could be dancing, it could be walking, it could be running, anything. Then the second, the second thing you need to do here is get enough sunlight. Then you can also get a massage. Listen to music. Mm, be around nature. There are many other things that can help you trigger the release of dopamine, but this should help you get started. And the beauty of these things is that they offer many more benefits, not just dopamine. For instance, exercise burns calories. It eases stress and many other benefits. Sunlight is also a good source of vitamin D. Getting a massage is good for your blood circulation. Listening to music will, is relaxing. Being around nature is also relaxing and can help you deal with the depression and the stress. So by finding healthy ways of triggering the release of dopamine, you'll be able to overcome the issue of emotional eating, which is the main cause of binge eating for most people. So the second thing that you need to do is Keep a journal. This is very important because when you keep a journal, you'll know what triggers emotional eating for you. That is the goal of this journal. Make sure that you're tracking. Every time that you eat a lot of food and you can't stop, write it down and go back and look into what triggered that. What, what, emotion was I what emotions was I feeling? Which activity was I engaging in and all those things to be able to know exactly what causes binge eating for you. This might be tasking, but it's worth it because once you figure it out, it will be very easy for you to just work your way around binge eating. For instance, let's say, for example, you discover that every time you get maybe a, a negative, negative comment, Maybe either from your boss or from your partner or from your friend, you, you just go straight to binge eating. So you can say to yourself, every time I get a negative comment, maybe I'll do one of these things. I'll, uh, I'll go for a walk. I'll go get a massage. And you'll get your dopamine. It's still the same effect. It doesn't have to be food. The end result is what matters. Whenever you're eating junk food, realize that your goal is to get the dopamine. You can get this dopamine in all these ways. 
You just need to be ready because your brain is already used to reaching for food every time you experience this emotion. So all you have to do is teach it to do something different whenever you experience that emotion. Then the third thing you need to do here is remove all junk food from your house. I talked about this in a previous video. Now, I've never met anyone who binges on vegetables or any other healthy foods. Most people just binge on junk food. So the best thing you can do for yourself is remove all junk food from your house. Sometimes you may not even be stressed that much, but since the environment already has the junk food there, you just reach for it anyway. So make sure that you keep all junk food from your house. Then the fourth thing you have to do here is practice mindful eating. Mindful eating is basically paying attention to what you're doing. If you're eating food, you just focus on that alone and being present in that moment instead of eating while you're distracted. And a few things that you can do to practice mindful eating is one is to uh, avoid distractions. So distractions could be things like TV, talking, using the phone, and such. So you have to sit still and just focus on the meal. Another uh, good strategy for mindful eating is sit upright. Another thing that you can do is chew food slowly. Chewing, chewing food slowly has another benefit in the sense that you'll know when you're full sooner rather than later. Because if you're chewing too fast, you'll be full without realizing it. But if you're chewing slowly, you'll figure out when you're full at the right time, which is very important. Also, chewing slowly will keep your mind in the present moment. So these are some of the things that you can do to practice mindful eating and be able to avoid just eating food without thinking about it. Also, another thing that you can do here is avoid eating straight from the bag. Straight from the bag. Let's say you're eating crisps. Instead of just eating them straight from the bag and not knowing how much you're eating, put them in a bowl. And that way you can correctly assess the quantity of the food. But if you're just eating straight from the bag, you'll realize, oh, I've just finished an entire bag. But if you have them in a bowl, you just eat a few and realize this is too much and you'll stop. So these are some of the things that you can do to practice mindful eating. Then the final thing that you can do here is eat enough. People rarely binge eat because they are hungry, but it can happen. Maybe you're just too hungry and at the same time you're craving junk food. So once you start eating the junk food, you just end up eating more and more and more. So one of the best things that you can do to prevent binge eating is to eat enough food. Even when you're trying to lose weight, it's possible, my friend. I'm telling you, I've seen so many people do it in the six weeks weight loss challenge, which by the way is in the link in the description below. And the secret to eating enough food is to simply eat unprocessed foods, unprocessed. This is the secret to eating enough food because unprocessed foods, let's say foods like vegetables and legumes and yams and pumpkins, such foods contain fiber and they, they are also low in calories and the food volume in relation to the calorie quantity is very good in the sense that you'll find like a big piece of pumpkin has a fewer calories. But if you are eating rice and other packaged foods, you'll find that a very small slice of chocolate has lots of calories. So that food will not fill you up. So the secret to eating enough food and feeling full is to eat mostly unprocessed foods. Now, if you need to know exactly what to eat in every meal, 
join the six weeks weight loss challenge by clicking the link in the description below i've had people lose eight to ten kilograms in six weeks using this program so check it out in the link in the description below these tips should be enough to help you at least kill the habit if you've been like binge eating every day you can reduce maybe it to once a week using these strategies and if you are an occasional binge eater these tips should help you overcome this habit for good so as long as you maintain these habits and just keep on improving and really studying yourself knowing what what really makes me do this it will really make a big difference for you in terms of overcoming binge eating so i hope the video was helpful like it share it with your friends and subscribe for more videos See you in the next video.